Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Stone Hearth Desktop Tuesday. Today we take a look at Alpha 17's new building focused class, the Engineer. To get an Engineer, have a 4th level blacksmith forge your wrench. Then use the wrench to promote a new 2nd level blacksmith into an Engineer. You probably don't want to promote your existing blacksmith as you will still need them. As you can see, the Engineer fulfills many Kickstarter promises. In particular, they've got those goggles that you love so much courtesy of Ali. So now that you have an engineer, how can they help your town? Here's Tom's concept for the engineer back from during the Kickstarter. As you can see, even in this class's earliest incarnation, the engineer is someone who tinkers with dangerous stuff, someone who may be more curious than wise. They're also an endgame class. From the concept alone, you can see that they move the tech of the Stonehearth world, which is medieval with a touch of magic, noticeably forward into clockwork or even steam. When Tom passed the concept of the Engineer onto Linda, who now owns the class, her first challenge was to narrow down the scope of the Engineer's focus. Specifically, how was the Engineer going to be useful? Linda decided to focus the Engineer on city defense, making turrets, traps, and lockable doors. The main gameplay theme is that if a player wants to focus on crafting and city building rather than on making a strong military, your city itself should be able to defend your hearthlings, rather than needing to diversify your workers and crafters into military units. The simplest thing the engineer can make are traps. Lay them down outside your town and watch as monsters come to investigate them. If a monster gets too near, they snap, doing damage to the monster. Like hearthlings, traps have hit points and can be damaged by monsters in turn. If they take enough damage, they're eventually destroyed. The engineer's next toy is the turret, specifically the turnip turret. Place turrets around your town and watch them fire projectiles at distant monsters. Unlike traps, turrets have ammo, and so can only fire a certain number of times before the engineer must come back with an ammo pack to refill them. Turrets and traps that are broken by monsters are auto-replaced. The engineer cues a new version of the broken object and a worker will automatically place it at the designated location. If a turret, a trap, or a door is partially injured, the engineer will come along and fix it. To prevent the engineer from covering the world with turrets and traps, the number that you can place in the world is determined by the engineer's level. You get a message when you're placing them if you're at the maximum allowed number. Finally, continuing with the theme of the engineer's wacky ingenuity, their final craftable type for now is lockable doors. I mean, all doors right now lock enemies out, but lockable doors lock your hearthlings in! So you know, if you're having trouble keeping your hearthlings inside your town walls, put a lockable door on the outside, lock it from the unit frame, and voila! Trapped hearthlings! You can also use them to make zones inside cities if that's your thing. Linda is far from done with the engineer. She has plans for more decorative objects, more machines, and more ways to use the engineer to bring your cities to life. But in the meantime, you can see her current progress in Alpha 17 on Steam Unstable. And that's it for this week! Leave us comments about your Stonehearth adventures here in the comments or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!